So dear old Bernie Sanders came out and said that education is a right and he needs to make colleges tuition free. I already covered why tuition free college is fucking retarded. Well, actually, no. It was more, do you really want to pay for my student loans? That was the bigger question. Um, beyond that, let's talk about tuition free college, shall we? Do you think that's wise? Do you think that's good? When every single year they raise tuition rates as they raise professor salaries. Seriously, that's, that's pretty much what it is. They're raising tuition when they raise salaries, including administrative. So the people at the top that are uh, in public colleges, they're voted in, elected, I guess you could say, um, by committee, by board. At the private colleges, you're hired uh, like a CEO, essentially, when you're the dean of faculty or whatever. And these people sit in a position and make um, a good half a million to a full million a year. I'm not kidding. Some of the bigger colleges make that much. Some of the smaller ones, not so much, but they still make a good penny, to, to say the least. And you want to make it free while these people run to the bank. So essentially what will happen there is the grants and loans the, that would happen would um, disappear. Um, the government would give them a check for every person that enrolls into college, making admissions easy, I guess you could say, because now you know they don't have to try to make sure that people who are applying for college can actually succeed in college, It'd be it a struggle or not, doesn't matter. Um, and if it's free, it'll be like high school, be like junior high, be like elementary, where they don't give a shit as long as you get it graduated and get the fuck out of my face. They don't care. See, here's the problem. Higher education is not a right, as Bernie Sanders has said so far. It is a privilege. Yet again, he's confusing rights with privileges. But that's not the worst of it. He wants to make this privilege a right by enshrining it into our laws so that college is free. He's pandering to college students who have a massive amount of debt. Idiot socialist communist students who think socialism is a grand idea. Well, these are also the same people that think that Trump's an evil bastard for building a border wall and complaining about the 10, 20, 30,000 people at our border who want to get in, yet everybody at that border are fleeing socialist countries. Or they were socialist countries and their economy was completely flattened and ruined by socialism. And now they're just barely recovering because the recovery from a flip in your economic model uh, takes a hell of a lot longer than it did to vote it in through democratic socialism and uh, destroy their entire country. Assuming they can even get power back to begin with. If they're democratic socialists, they should be able to democratically vote socialism out. Um, what socialist has ever given up power? That's a good question, isn't it? Did Castro allow a vote and just walk out? Or did he die of old age? Just curious. Even Nelson Mandela tried to bring socialism to Africa. Well, at least his part of Africa. Everybody's proud to walk next to that commie. Um, I'm not. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't want to associate with somebody like that. But I digress. The, the idea that you want to make a socialist utopia through college, making it free when it's not, this is what would happen. If you made it free, this is what would happen. Right now, in high school and junior high, since that's, uh, I have kids of that age, you have to pay for your taxes, which pay for the teachers who are now government employees, essentially. Um, there are independent school districts in Texas, 
in, in particular. So the individual counties or the um, cities pay for them. So what happens is they take it out of our, our um, we don't have it, excuse me, we don't have an income tax here. What we do have is a property tax and that property tax is really, really high. So it's about equate, it equates to the same as if you were to pay state income tax after, after your check. It's about, you know, a fair exchange, I guess, if that can be considered fair. But anyways, they, uh, they take it out of that. They take it out of the, the state um, property tax. Part of that goes to pay for your schools. The other thing that happens is they have a begathon twice a year asking for donations and money. The school districts go and f write out a bond. And a bond is a loan that the taxpayers have to pay back. And those can be pretty damn expensive, especially if they want to build another stadium or some other stupid shit, which happens a lot down here. Uh, yes, high school football plays in a stadium, not at their school. They don't play. They call that the practice field. So they practice on that field. They don't play on that field, um, which is weird to me. For you know, Growing up in Utah, you play at the school. You don't play at a stadium unless it's like the finals. But anyways... What's interesting about this is if you look at that, they do the begathons, and then they, and on top of that, they ask for school supplies every single year. They give you, they, they have a tax free weekend in Texas in particular, where you can go out to the stores and buy all your supplies tax free. They don't charge you tax when buying school supplies, but you have to pay for your own. Um, that's similar to college, is it not? You have to pay pay for your books. You have to pay for your utensils and whatever else. It's not supplied to you, right? That's it's pretty similar. But at the same time, how is that free college or free high school, free junior high? You're still playing for supplies. And the teacher asks for them every single year. So apply that to, high, or to college. It's now free. Anybody can sign up. You can just go to college. Do you need it? Probably not. Do they have junk degrees out there that are are worthless? Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> do you really need college? Uh, I mean, this is coming from a guy that did a PhD. I, I went doctorates in management, um, for better or for worse. I've used actually quite a bit of it. I've uh, been published and cited. But... Did I really need that for my job? I'm an IT guy. No, I could have I could have stopped with the bachelor's and been just good enough. Um, I could have went to a master's degree and eh, it moderately helps out. It's better to get certificates and pass tests uh, at that point. But uh, yes and no. I mean, you could use it. You don't need it. Either way, you'll have a lot of people signing up for bullshit. And I do mean bullshit. They'll sign up for gender studies and get that gender studies degree for free. So anybody that likes gender studies, um, the ideological bullshit of the left, that's not an actual science. It's literal religion taught in college. Um, secular religion, mind you. Um, they claim it's science, but really all it is is um, philosophy. At best, at best, it's philosophy. It's sophistry philosophy, but it's philosophy. But think about it that way. If you're gonna, if you're gonna claim that socialism is the way to go, and that free college is a thing and it's a right to go to college, you are now going to pay for every schmuck that goes to college, and the loans that they're in regardless if they graduate or not. Now, keep in mind that college is, is the institution where they don't give a shit if you show up for class. So we're paying for people that don't show up. We're paying for people that do show up. We're paying for people that don't do that well. We'll get mediocre doctors. We'll get mediocre scientists. We'll get people that don't care. A lot of people strive to go to college 
and they do it in high school so they don't have to pay for it. They'll try harder because it's a privilege to go to college, not a right. And once you make it a right, people don't try. Now they just expect it. Now they think it's just handed to them because in this case, it would be. You've just made it free. Um, and I think I've covered, it's not really free, is it? It's, it's taxpayer funded. So property taxes will go up, income taxes will go up per state to pay for college for people that don't pay for college. Instead of those that chose to go to college paying for it themselves, making it a privilege to go to college. If, they, if Bernie wanted to do anything that's beneficial to college tuition and whatnot, it's to regulate that shit. If they're in a public school, they should be regulated to the point where they can't be gouging students for their tuitions and their fees. Tuitions sometimes isn't that bad. The fees, they hit you hard, like another 1500 in some cases I've heard. Um, my personal experience was it was about 30. Actually, they raised it every single year. I watched it from my bachelor's to my doctorates. I went to the same school. Um, and it was like 3,200 when I started, but it was the doctorate's level. It was almost five grand a class. Um, and a class was a semester for me. Um, because you, that class was literal full time. <laughs> it was, it was painful. Um, well, no, I take it back. Semester, we did three classes, technically. But doctorates, it was like an eight-week period. I had the same class for eight weeks, um, almost full-time. Yeah, that was that was fun. Regardless, if you want to make it a privilege, if you want to turn privileges into rights, go right ahead. You, you go right ahead in another country. You're not doing it here. The, the insanity that you're asking for is for taxpayers to pay for your shit. That's what's being promised by Bernie Sanders. It's not free. We're in, a, we're in a model where he thinks he can flip the economic model of the United States on its head and just start offering shit for free. And the teachers and the administration and all that will just roll over and accept whatever's handed to them. No, they're not. I'm surprised anybody support this crazy bastard, to be honest. Um, it makes no sense to me. You guys think you're poor. You don't know what poor is. You've never lived on the street. You're still living in the cave of your mother's house. This cave right here, I paid for this shit. My student loans are the same amount as this house. I'm still paying for that shit makes no sense. I take responsibility for my decisions. I think y'all should take some responsibility for yours too. If you don't like that, tough shit. That's life. Since when do you get away with not taking responsibility for your own actions? Just no. <laughs> That's all I got to say for that. No. De <laughs> Education is not a right. Even you can get thrown out of high school. You do bad enough, they kick your ass out of there too. Chances are you probably end up in jail while you're at it. It's not a right. It's a privilege. Just like driving is a privilege that should be and can be revoked when you're a dumbass and do a DUI. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that one. I heard this shit on the radio. And uh, today, uh, I doubt this will get out this morning, but that's all right. Today is Super Tuesday. Don't forget to vote. Don't vote crazy. I do care who you vote for. Don't vote crazy. If they're promising you the moon, they're just wanting power. That's pretty much the philosophy right there if they're if they're offering you the moon they're not genuine they're just promising you shit they won't deliver so they can get power and then they will bring about their socialist utopia and live on the top while you plebs will be beaten in the gulags including me so see you next time
<laughs> My friend, stop all this talk. Teach him a lesson. <laughs>